Right, now, she's unapologetically honest and brilliantly confident, but beneath it all, Miriam Margulies has admitted to spending a lifetime worrying about her weight. Well, it's a subject that she's uh, taking on in a new documentary, which she hopes is going to tackle the nation's obesity crisis. <laughs> <laughs> a great time. Miriam joins us now. Welcome back. I mean, this is... Actually, just hearing you say those words, then, I didn't believe you could be fat and happy. This is... Really a personal journey for you, this documentary, isn't it? Oh, yes, that's why I wanted to do it. Yeah. Because it matters to me. And I know that there's an awful lot of fat people out there because obesity is, believe me, a bigger epidemic than the one that we're going right. through well, the, uh, yeah. now. The figures are absolutely incredible. It, it costs the NHS £6 billion a year. That's more than the police, the fire and the judicial services combined. And so it is definitely an issue. Um, and for you, and the thing is with you, you've never had a problem talking about yourself. You've never had a problem being honest. And so, but has it been an issue for you? Of course it has. I know what I look like. I mean, even when I saw myself just then in that clip, because I've never seen that before. And I thought, God, what a hideous, oh, no. hideous looking person. But I know I'm a decent person, so I try to get over it. But I know what I look like and I hate it. I love my face, but I hate my body. That's the truth. And isn't that, doesn't, does it make you sad? It makes me, I'm <laughs> with myself, you know, because I think why, why should I, why should I be seventy-eight and not learn to be thin? Yeah, it, it's. But in the course of the program that I made, I learn that it's not just something I should blame myself for. Well, it's a disease. It's an addiction. And there is, there's other sort of things at play here a little bit as well, because, you know, society is obsessed with images of the perfect body, how you should look, what you should eat, you should be Instagramming your meals that look perfect. Um, but also, at the same time, we've kind of got access to food 24 hours, cheap food, quick food. food and it's advertised all the time. Yeah. I know I'm on ITV and that's how we all make our money, but it's wrong. People don't need to be persuaded to eat. We eat. We have yeah. to eat to stay alive. So why are we having advertisements pushing food at us? But and save the chicken Kiev, please. <laughs> um, <laughs> no. <laughs> no, OK. Um, for you, uh, are you one of those people that has done the dieting thing or...? Oh, I've done everything, darling. Yes, of course. Except I haven't had bariatric medicine. And you met a couple of women about that. And something that we talk about in the programme, and, and so I what, couldn't do that. What was, the, what was your thought when you, when you discussed it with those women? My thought was how sad I feel for them that they feel it necessary to have an operation to achieve the body that is acceptable. I, I just think that's wrong. I still think it's wrong, even though I love the people I talk to. Mm -hmm. yeah. I met some wonderful people and I want to say hello particularly to Angela, who I believe will be watching, oh. because she's the guest I had who, who has a leg amputated and she can't walk because of being fat. Wow. And it's really tough for her. So she's she's so brave and she's she's not had chocolate since we did our programme. And I'm so proud of yeah. her for that. Yeah. Um are we okay using the word fat? Because we've spoken about this. What here, else are you gonna say? Well, this is a very good point. I mean the, the, If we the... said it if you weren't here um and you weren't using that word yourself, um if we said that, we'd be in a lot of trouble. Well, I'm sorry, I think that's silly. Well, you would, we, we would, what we would, would you say? say? You'd have to say uh, overweight, overweight or Ugh. larger or... You know. Portly. Well, uh, portly, I don't think you Roly could... Roly-poly. No, no, I don't, I don't think, think you could say <laughs> any of those either. things, actually. I think you, you, we, you have to now be very generic. You have to be careful. You have to be kind. We should be kind, but everybody should be able to use the word fat and not die when they use it. Mm. It is a real word. It's what I am. Look at me. It's it's awful. This belly. I, I try to disguise it. You I, are well, good. We love you just as you are, by the way. I'm thrilled and grateful that you say that. And, and, and it's very touching. I just wish that I could be as perfect in my body as I am in my soul. And so oh, at, the really, of, at the end of... At the end of these two shows like that. that you've done, 
tonight and tomorrow. Nine o'clock, BBC Two. Precisely. Nine o'clock, BBC Two. Precisely. I've got to get that over, yeah. Um, is there a resolution for you and your head and your body? Not really. Not really a resolution. A determination to keep going. I'm now going back to the, to the way that I had before, which was don't eat till half past 12 and don't eat after six. That, I think, will help me. Because otherwise, I, I'll just get fatter and fatter and I'll die. Well, I might die anyway, but... Oh, we're all uh, going to die eventually. <laughs> no, I, I don't think it has resolved. Mm. But it's helped me because I've seen other people going through it. Yeah. But you also, yeah, you right. seem to eat really healthily as well. I we do, at the I stuff do. On there was, you were eating radishes, you were eating raw onions and apples. Yes. You know, so... I know. I, and, of course, it, it does make me expel air. Of course. <laughs> I'm That's trying to be polite. polite. Well done. That's unlike I'm you. Impressed. Well, I said <laughs> so I must say... I mustn't say the you other thing. You said that, you can, you can say fart. <laughs> <laughs> but I do eat healthily and I do believe in free-range chicken and taking, taking care with food. Yeah. Mm. But, I don't know, it, it's, a, it's a problem. It's a big problem. Um, something else you feel very strongly and passionately about is that, and I, it's funny because when I'm saying fat people, I feel bad saying it myself, shouldn't suffer abuse or be the kind of butt of people's jokes. And you've had your own experience of this. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. People are always laughing and making silly jokes or when I go by, they go, way like that. It, it's not kind. It's not... We wouldn't do it to, to blacks and Jews and cripples. We don't make fun of them. So don't do it to fat people. Understand, we know we're fat and it hurts. Mm. And if we get on the tube, give us a seat. Well, I was going to say, because, you know, that does... It does have... It can be useful sometimes, because when the gentleman... Oh, yes. When the gentleman didn't give you a seat... I sat on him. <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> I have... Not, I don't think, because I'm fat, I have a spinal condition which means I can't stand without pain. It really hurts to yeah. stand. Yeah. And so when you go in the tube, people don't want you to sit next to them because you're fat and you, you, you're taking up space. But in, when you're in pain, I should be offered a seat. Anybody and should. And you did ask. I did ask you did first, say, of yeah. course. I said, please, um, would you let me sit down? And he said, you know, he just sort of went... And so I sat on him. <laughs> did he get up? Pretty quickly. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't stay under the Margulies for long. <laughs> <laughs> well, you, we think you're beautiful inside and out, yeah, top really to do. bottom. We adore having you here. Thank you. Uh, Miriam's Thank Big you. Fat Adventure, it starts tonight at nine on BBC Two and then continues tomorrow. Please come back and see us soon. And there will be a picture yes. of you on the... Oh, look, look, oh, look, 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 look. What, what? It's, the, it's, it's a, a temporary it's one. It's a temporary one. So it's look, not quite as big as the others, oh, but you are, thank you. you're already up there now. Oh, that's now. really and lovely. And then the next time you come in, there'll be a much bigger one. <laughs> in a gold frame. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you very much <laughs> for you. having me. Thank yeah. you. Yeah.